Welcome to Catholic Views. I'm your host, Renee Kranz. On today's show, we will have Chris Motes back in the studio. He is the executive director of the South Dakota Catholic Conference. Uh, He's going to be here to talk about the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe, because he did a recent column in the Bishop's Bulletin, and so we're going to kind of expand on that a little bit. And it will, when this airs on radio, it will be that particular Solemnities Sunday. So now I already answered one of Chris, Chris Bergwald's <laughs> questions today. <laughs> Cheating. Chris Bergwald is here for some biblical bites with Dr. B first. So I always, of course, if people haven't listened regularly, I usually begin by asking, Renee, what's today? What Sunday is it? And it's been well, the 30 it's the whatever. Well, it's the 34th Sunday in Ordinary Time. But, but it's also that is the solemnity, the solemnity of, Christ, of, of our the Lord Jesus yes. Christ, King of the Universe. Yes. Um, so, oh, Renee. I then. told Bill before we started the essay answer all the questions today. Bill, <laughs> when exactly does the new church year begin? Oh, we've, to- we, no, we we've talked, talked about this about last this. Yes, it's like 12.01 Saturday morning. No. <laughs> Is that correct? I don't know. If- <laughs> where's the where's the buzzer? Was a look of bewilderment or a look of disappointment? <laughs> that was awesome. excitement that I get to give you the. <laughs> um, so the, the, uh, that that's a fair guess, Bill. So looking to next next Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent, but of course, when do we first celebrate Mass for Advent? What's Sunday the morning. First possible. Well, Saturday evening. So sundown Saturday that's night is when the new church year begins so 1201 was i think in sunday but okay so that's fair so next that's year fair. And, and 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 next year is going to be a year i know we'll talk about this next week probably but uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. is there a year uh, c uh, yes there's a year c <laughs> i don't know a b c. c a is for matthew b is for mark and c is for luke luke right but that's okay. we're getting ahead of ourselves yeah today now you, see is, now you can't try to trick me next week oh shoot well we'll see if you remember because we <laughs> yeah. know how fa- fabulously you know accurate your memory is there mrs Great. Kranz. 10 second tom <laughs> uh we've wasted enough time okay uh year b mark solemnity of our lord jesus christ king universe reading one also known as the first reading <laughs> Uh, from the book of the prophet Daniel, as the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was present, presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. So in the gospels, there's a title that Jesus uses more than any other for himself. So sometimes um, th- this reference is going to date my, me. Um, sometimes Probably all three Jesus goes then. a little Herschel Walker <laughs> on us. <laughs> and he speaks about himself in the third person. Mm-hmm. Her- Herschel Walker is going to get us the Super Bowl back in the <laughs> 80s, Herschel said as a Viking. Um, Jesus talks about him as, himself as the son of man. Right. Now people hear that title, so just a little bit on that title. Um, people hear that title and and I, well... This is unfair because you might know, <laughs> Renee. Might, might. What, son of man, what does that title speak to? What does it mean? Uh, well, that's from Old Testament stuff, and I don't know if I can explain it very easily. So, it, so it, it refers to David, doesn't it? No, well, no, no, no. Okay. So it it's used here in that first reading that I just read, Daniel, Daniel, which mm-hmm. is Old Testament. But most people, I think, because Jesus sometimes calls himself Son of God. Right. Normally, we would, you know, we would think that well, Son of Man talks about Jesus's humanity and Son of God mm-hmm. about his divinity. Actually, ironically, it's the opposite. In the Old okay. Testament, many people. There are a number of people referred to as son of God. It's not meant that they're divine. So okay. David is called son Just of like God. Just like we're children the people, of God. Exactly. Okay. Right, right. But son of man means something. So in the Old Testament, not quite necessarily divine, but something more. So again, this the, the, old, the, the Old Testament prophet Daniel talks about how there's one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. He's He reached the ancient one. He was prevented, presented before the ancient one, and he receives dominion, glory, and kingship. All nations, peoples, languages serve him, etc. So actually is a hint of Jesus's divinity. 
Okay. So this favorite title of Jesus's is an Old Testament title that talks about somebody who is going to receive the kingship from the ancient one. So, okay. so us knowing now, looking back, understanding the truth of the Trinity. So the son comes before the father and receives the kingship. The son of man is Jesus. The ancient one is the father. And he's going to, he already did and will definitively at the end of time receive kingship because he is king of the universe. Okay. I don't know if you're done, but I have a question about, they actually, this is not a very old solemnity. Yeah. And they really put this in the right place. Yes, they did. They totally picked the right Sunday. They did. On they, purpose, it, I assume. On purpose, yeah. So it's the end, and it's setting us up for Advent. We're going to get to that next year. But it, 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 it was, yeah, it was the solemnity was moved here after Vatican II, the end of the church year. But it is, to me, a great, like, it's a culmination. Yeah. It's the climax of the mm-hmm. church year. He is king, and now we're set up to receive him as the baby. Yeah. I, I'm so excited for Advent. Amen. Thanks, thanks a lot. More Chris. next week. <laughs> yeah.